This video is gonna be for my math nerds out there, people who love math and want to go into a career that has a lot of it. Math, 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 math. I'm gonna go over some different careers that have a lot of mathematics and give you a quick overview of each one, including what you can expect to make. And this should help you out and give you ideas, especially if you're somebody who's searching for a great career that matches their personality. So if you appreciate this type of video and you want me to make more like it, let me know by gently tapping that like button, commenting down below. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out. And the best possible thing you could do is share this video with somebody else because I don't have a super expensive marketing team like all of these universities do. I'm just just basically one guy making videos. All right, so first one on the list is going to be an actuary. And actuaries use statistics, math, and financial theory in order to calculate risk and uncertainty for a company. So they are responsible for calculating and helping to minimize the risk while they keep the reward as high as possible. So there are many industries that actuaries are employed in, but the most common one is probably the insurance industry. Now, as an actuary, you can expect to make around 111000 dollars per year and it's growing at 24 percent which is much faster than average and by the way if you're wondering what career you should go into and you're kind of confused about that that's probably the most common question that i get on this channel a lot of the time people just watch my videos to look at different careers to try to figure out which one is the best for them so i do have a solution for you it is a six-step guide to choosing your dream career it's going to be available completely free down in the description below and additionally to that you will get access to my newsletter where I will send out exclusive content. So definitely check that out because it's not gonna be available for long. Number two on the list is going to be a health informatics specialist and specifically a health informatics specialist that deals a lot with data analysis. So the ability to first collect data, store it, and then interpret it in such a way where you can actually make business decisions based off of it is a very, very valuable skill. And you need to have a significant amount of knowledge Knowledge in mathematics, especially statistics, to be good at this. And depending on your specialty and what part of health informatics you work in, you may also have to have a good amount of knowledge when it comes to the coding side of things, especially when it comes to algorithms. So this is something that you would probably enjoy if you really like doing mathematics. Now, health informatics specialists make a wide range of salaries, but Glassdoor has healthcare informatics making $109,000 per year. Number three on the list is going to be a statistician. And statisticians work in a number of different industries. Business, engineering, scientists, they work with chemists, material scientists, chemical engineers, etc. Now, typically to become a statistician, you're going to have to have at least a master's level degree. And you can expect to make about $93,000 a year, and it's growing at 33%, which is much faster than average. Number four on the list is going to be an accountant. Now, to be honest with you, this can be sometimes relatively low level math. Um, but it really depends on what accounting specialty you go into because there are some accounting specialties where you're going to be doing much more advanced level mathematics. But either way, you are going to be spending a significant amount of your day working with numbers. So if you're somebody who likes math, but you don't necessarily like the more difficult stuff, this might be something that you really like doing. So if you want to just crunch numbers all day long, accounting might be a great career for you. And I think everyone's relatively familiar with what accountants do. Uh, as an accountant, you would expect to make around $73,000 a year. There's 1.3 million jobs in the United States, so lots of different specialties and career opportunities out there for you, and it's growing at 7%, which is as fast as average. Number five on the list is going to be software developer. So software developers use mathematics in order to solve problems when it comes to the code that they type. You have to have a pretty good understanding of basic mathematics, of course, but also algebra and even calculus and statistics. And the difficulty of the math is going to change depending on the specialty that you go into. As a software developer, you'd expect to make about $110,000 a year. There's 1.8 million jobs in the United States, so lots of different opportunities there. And it's growing at 22%, which is much faster than average. Number six on the list is going to be an economist and specifically one that works a lot with numbers. So there's a lot of different types of economists out there. Uh, generally speaking, microeconomists work more with numbers, whereas macroeconomists kind of 
work more with like social sciences and stuff like that. And there's even combined majors where you do mathematics and economics at the same time. But understanding the distribution of goods, services, et cetera, within an economy, a lot of the time is going to require a good amount of analyzing data. So you have to have a very strong grasp of statistics, especially if you wanna get into more of the mathematics side of economics. Now, in order to become an economist, you generally have to have at least a master's level degree, but you can expect to make around $108,000 per year and it's growing at 13% which is faster than average but there are a lot of other economics related careers out there you don't just have to become an economist number seven on the list is going to be a business intelligence analyst so this one is usually somebody who started off with a business background and then they learned how to collect data and do kind of a little bit of a data analyst type role and their biggest strength is being able to interpret the data in such a way where they can give actionable advice to the company and when they give that actionable advice, they have to kind of, you know, dumb it down a little bit and put it in layman's terms so that it makes sense to everyone. So you have to have that mathematics related skill with a background in statistics and, and data science collection, but you have to be able to explain it to other people in a way that makes sense that is probably a little bit less mathematical. And they didn't have the exact career, but a very similar one that uh, this one falls under the umbrella of is a management analyst and they make around $87,000 a year and it's growing at 14%, which is faster than average. Now, another career that's similar, but actually more advanced, it's kind of along the same lines is the next one on the list, which is data scientist. And they kind of do very similar things, but usually it's much more advanced. And a lot of the time they tend to specialize. So I made an entire video about data scientists. So you can kind of check that out because it's pretty complicated but just know that typically they will have a master's level degree it's possible to get into it without a master's but that's the usual and they make around $126,000 per year and it's growing at 22% which is much faster than average number nine on the list is going to be an auditor so auditors are going to help examine prepare and check the accuracy of financial records and a lot of the time you'll be kind of an auditor consultant and you'll be actually employed by an outside company to come in and audit audit the company's financial records just to make sure that everything is good to go. Now, BLS actually bunches this one together with accountants um, and they do kind of go hand in hand, but yeah, there is gonna be a good amount of mathematics here. It's another kind of like number crunching type career. You can expect to make around $73,000 a year and it's growing at 7%, which is as fast as average. Next one on the list is going to be a data or research analyst. And this is gonna be somebody who helps businesses make data-driven decisions. And basically anything that has to do with data is going to involve a lot of statistics and it's an incredibly valuable skill to have right now and as a data analyst you could expect to make around seventy-four thousand dollars a year and i can say that this one i've studied it quite a bit and it is one that you can get into sometimes without getting a degree so this will be a good option for those people out there who are really interested in mathematics related careers but they don't necessarily want to have to get a four-year degree there are other ways that you can get into this one check out my other videos right here i made them just for you go ahead gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.